Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, the video is over there, Joan. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy these beautiful charts I'm going to share with you. And they are going to enjoy as well because they need to laugh about all the charts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's jump into the charts. One, two, three. Bam. Bam. No, just bam. One, two, three. <laughs> bam. Bam. One, two, three. Bam. Bam. It was the very best ever intro of a video, but guys, it was funny as hell, but now we are going to jump into serious stuff. These charts are a must-see. Please watch these charts before you're going to sell your bitcoins these days, because this is very important to see. Let's quickly jump into the charts. Bam. Yes, you will still hear some noise on the background. My family is here. Get used to it. Family first, bitcoin second. Guys, this is a four-hour chart. On the four-hour chart, we can see a few things. We can see the low, the higher low, and another higher low. And we can see that this period here, from May until um, July, we had a falling wedge, we had a breakout, and we had a retest. The retest, that is this area. I will draw a small eclipse or something, how you call it. That was the retest. Now, the second period, that was again from here, August, all the way to September. Falling wedge, we had a breakout, we didn't have a retest. There was no retest over there, and still we went up. Now, this third period, coming in from December all the way till here. We had a falling wedge, we had a breakout, and again now we are having that retest. And that retest is over there, guys. That is exactly the area that we see, that we saw over there as well. So the question is now, is this a retest and are we going to go up from here or are we going to go falling down below this higher low? That would be really bearish. As long we are creating higher lows, low, higher low, higher low on the charts. As long we do that, I'm still bullish. The moment we start to create lower lows, then I get bearish. Next chart, bam, this one. This one is the monthly chart. The monthly chart is going to close in one day and 10 hours. This red candle is going to close in one day and 11 hours. As long we stay above that orange line, it is positive. That's a 12 monthly moving average. As long we stay above it, very positive. So we need to Close this one in one day and 10 hours above that line, which is above 47,123 US dollar. We are still having control in the bullish movement in Bitcoin. Now, two more special charts, guys, over here. Bam. This one, really nice. Uh, this is showing you that the EU momentum change in Bitcoin price on the bottom here. That one is already changing positive. You can see this, here it is green. We had the dip in red, and now we are starting to become green over there. Now, if we look at the US, the middle one, also already positive. Now, the only part of the world that is not positive yet is Asia. But the red area are de is declining, so it's becoming smaller. This will be followed up by a green area. And that would probably be the moment we go up again in price. US, EU, positive, Asia, still negative. And then that will lead to this chart, bam. I think this is a very cool chart, guys. This chart, you can see that over here. This is made by the Rational Root. You, 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 you already know his charts. Um, I think this one is now supported by Bitcoin Magazine. Ah, no commercials in my videos. You need to pay me, Bitcoin Magazine. <laughs> okay, now we have the 2011 uh, bull market, 2013, 2017, 2021 bull market. If you look at the volatility at the bottom here, the red line, you can see that that area that we are touching now, that minus 30 over there, this one, that minus 30 we touch over there, that minus 30 we are touching now. That is a normal bandwidth of volatility that we have during these runs. Yes, these runs were steeper and less steeper, a little bit less steeper and again a little bit less steeper, but the volatility stays the same. And we are now around that volatility area that is almost going to retest that dotted trend line. So like here, you know, we came down we almost tested that dotted trend line and then we moved up again. Or like here, we did test that dotted trend line. Really cool chart. I think there's a lot of information in this one to so pause the video and uh, check the chart even further if you want. Guys, that was BAM. Already everything for today. 
I hope you really like this video. Oh no, we need to do a very good outro as well. Here's the outro. Bam. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this very informative and really cool video with my uh, nieces over here. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a Dippy thumbs up. Thumbs up. Not in the mouth. <coughs> <coughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about these beautiful princesses? About the charts? About everything else? Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> so my nieces are going to tell me now: Is Bitcoin going up or down? Bitcoin is going up, up, not down. Up. <laughs> What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> no! You cannot laugh. You need to be serious. It's about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going up! <laughs> Not going up. Yeah, is Bitcoin going, going up. up. Bitcoin is going to 100k! Weep, 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 hurrah!